So hello, welcome. This is a case of a complicated crown fracture where we actually replace the uh, the fractured piece of tooth back onto the tooth. Okay, and what I mean by a complicated um, crown fracture is it means the denting and the enamel and the pulp is all exposed when the tooth is broken in two. So the first thing we want to do is we want to check the fragments and we want to see if the fragment actually fits nicely onto the tooth because of course this tooth could have fractured and a little bit of extra piece might have broken away and it might not be a nice fit. You'll also notice that the fragment is actually uh, whiter than the tooth itself and this is because it's just dehydrated and once it's glued back on um, it will hydrate again and become the same colour as the rest of the tooth. So what's really, really important in cases like this, especially if the pulp is exposed, is that you apply rubble dam, r rubber dam. Um, by applying rubber dam, what you do is you isolate the tooth from the rest of the mouth. Now, um, this tooth actually uh, was was fractured a few hours ago. Okay, not not a few minutes ago. And the issue with this, of course, is that we need to see if the tooth is irreversibly inflamed or reversibly inflamed. So the way to do this is we're just going to remove the pulpal tissue, and also I'm going to trough out some of the uh, the pulp tissue. Um, that, that, that was exposed to the, the elements or the mouth, as we say. And then we have a little look and just assess the pulp itself. You'll, you'll know when the pulp is inflamed because it will be, it'll just bleed, 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 never stop bleeding. So we're going to irrigate here with some sodium hypochlorite and we are just, just sort of assessing the pulp and, and there's no sort of right or wrong answer here. It's really, really tough to get a cast iron guarantee if the tooth is or isn't inflamed or not. And um, another issue with using bleach or sodium hypochlorite is it can cause extra bleeding and also it can sort of necrose or sort of dissolve some of the tissue and that can um, create the, uh, the presence of the pulp looking not as healthy as it should be. So I'm not really happy with the pulp tissue that's remaining here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to carefully excavate the uh, the, the sort of little trough that I've uh, created and try and remove some of the uh, the pulp tissue. Just, just just, very, very, very gently removing some of the tissue. And you can see here that the pulp is nice and red and it's not excessively bleeding. If you've um, come across a tooth that is excessively bleeding, you really know about it. So at this point now, I have removed all the pulp um, tissue that I'd like to remove and I am now just waiting a good 5 or 10 or even 15 minutes to see if the pulp has uh, had the ability to stop bleeding. And I'm, I'm, I'm quite happy here that the, 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 the pulp has stopped bleeding. So I'm going to um, uh, irrigate now with some sodium hypochlorite. And now when I look inside, I can see the pulp. It looks nice and healthy. And I am satisfied that this um, is reversibly inflamed. So to seal off the, the tooth, what I'm going to use is, um, is a biceramic. We use biodentin and biodentin. Uh, creates like a chemical bond with the uh, the, 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 uh, the dentin and that seals it off uh, uh, really really nicely. You've got to be super 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 careful when using a bioceramic especially in anterior teeth so if you were to use MTA in this case um, there is a uh, sort of a characteristic MTA that, that it stains the tooth so it wouldn't be um, appropriate in this case to use MTO on an anterior teeth. And the great thing about biodentin is it doesn't stain teeth. Another thing you need to be careful of is, um, is bleeding. So, uh, you know, it looks a bit of a mess at the moment. And, um, and my concern is that there is blood um, on this tooth and this can cause staining in the, in the future. So um, what I'm going to do now is I am going to um, leave the bidentine to set for 15 minutes. And that's really important. So it's all nice and set and, and like I say the cavity doesn't look great at the moment and I'm just checking to see if the, the bidentine is set in it. Indeed it has. And what I'm going to do now is I am going to remove um, all of the kind of stained um, uh, bidentine and try and get some of the staining off 
the rest of the, the tooth because essentially uh, what, what can happen is you, like I say you can get staining and it isn't perfect but it looks a lot better than it did here so now I'm going to attach the fragment and I'm actually going to etch the fragment itself the fragment has been sitting in sodium hypochlorite throughout this whole part of the appointment up to this point and I want to make sure it's nice and um, you know it's, it's, it's got a least amount of bacteria in it as, as humanly possible so I'm going to etch the fragment and I'm going to etch the tooth and, um, there's no selective etching here I'm just going to etch the whole tooth so we're going to rinse the etch away and also drying them. I've dried and etched, uh, sorry, I've, I've uh, washed and, and dried the fragments also. So um, here it's it's sped up, but with the bonding, I've just dotted a little bit on each side. I am massaging the bond into the fragment and the tooth itself. And then just like curing both the fragments. Now the fragment um, has got a um, flowable composite on it and I only uh, put the flowable composite on the, um, the fragment tooth. And here it's, uh, it's, 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 it's hard and it looks to, to marry up both the fragment and the tooth and I'm just using a flat plastic here just to remove the excess uh, flowable material. You know, it looks looks pretty good already. We're going to bond the tooth. And then we're going to remove the rubber dam. So, essentially, now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to polish the tooth up. And um, check into proximally. And, you know, it looks fantastic. You know, it looks really good. Mum was really, really happy with this. And in fact, if we um, compare this to um, the what the tooth looked prior, it um, it looks a million times better. And you know, using the fragment of the tooth to um, to, to to restore it puts it back to its original um, you know shape, which is great for the occlusion. Listen, if you really, really like these videos, I really, really like making them. Please, please like, and what's really important, subscribe to my channel. Um, if you have any questions, please put anything in the comment section. I'll always um, reply. Okay, have a nice day. See you soon. Bye-bye.